Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today you see that I'm not even on a game. I am on OBS which is a free broadcasting studio so you can stream on it, you can record on it all for free which is brilliant. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can download this software because it is awesome. So I got a couple of comments from two different people today asking how I... So the first person was Dream YouTube or Dream YT and he commented, Hi, how do you record ETS2 with game capture or window capture? Nice video by the way, like. So I'm guessing he liked the video, so thank you. So he said, with game capture or window capture? Now, I didn't actually record ETS2 using OBS and that is what I think he is talking about. So I use my normal game capture device that I use, which is an Ava Media 2 Live Gamer Portable Capture Device. So I I use that to record high-end games because yes, my yes I do have a gaming laptop, but it's not that quick to like record Euro Truck without lag. So I use that and it, the video turns out perfectly. But let's say you did want to record it in OBS. So what, what you can see in my sources down here is that I have a bunch of different things. So I have Roblox, Minecraft, F1 2018 and stuff like that. So if I just do this with Roblox, if I go into the properties, you can actually see that this is a specific window thing. So if I just cancel that, this is probably a bad explanation. So if I go on to the plus sign down here, you can see there is a bunch of different things. In this video, I'm really just going to go into game capture, display capture and browser. I'm not going to go into any of the other ones, but I'm pretty sure there's other videos out there on YouTube where you can find what all of these other things do. So in a game capture, you can see that there are add existing ones. So if I go do, if I do that and let's say let's, let's do Roblox for example, that has created a Roblox layer. So if I go into the properties, normally it will be set to that. That is what you would get the first time you click OK. So what you want to do is you can capture any full screen application. So anything that is in full screen mode, the, the, the thing will capture. But let's say if we wanted to capture a specific window, i.e. Roblox. So if we had the Roblox player open, there would be, there would be this selection. So what we would have done is clicked that Roblox thing if Roblox was open but it's not open at the moment. We would have clicked we would have clicked that Roblox thing and then we could have changed everything you like you could have like tweaked everything like this to get it to the desire you want. Click OK and then Roblox will appear on here. So that is cool, you may and then from there you can resize it and stuff like that. But let's say you want to let's say that you want to capture your full screen like this and I have the same thing down here in screen cap. So if I do this so I go into display capture and let's just name this display capture for the sake of the video. Now what you would get is this. Now if you're using a laptop like me where you have where you haven't got anything connected to the HDMI output or input on your laptop then you, you would just see a black screen and you don't know why. Now the thing is, when you have a HDMI output or input onto your laptop, then the display capture is what is is what it is trying to capture. So every time you add a display capture, it's trying to look for an input on the HDMI um, on the HDMI plug thing on your computer. So because I've got that currently connected to my capture device it can capture my screen and obviously because it's powered on too. So if you had a PC connected to a monitor then you would be able to select the monitor and same if you use a laptop to a monitor through a HDMI cable you would also get that option. So you would just select that and then you can choose if you want to capture your cursor or not. I tend to leave it on OK and then you have the display capture on there. So that is two ways you can capture games or whatnot but let's say you want a subscriber account which I have got right here 
so let's go on to the properties of my of my subscriber count so as you can see this is my this is this is my live counts account so i so i copied the url that i needed and i tweaked with the width and height to where i wanted it to be and then i tweaked around with these i think i left these on default if i remember and then i clicked ok now if it was just standard like this it like you can see it looks a bit messy so what i did is i went on to filters and on chroma pad i keyed out the color that is in the background because if you've never used live counts then the background is kind of like blue so i managed to remove that and then tweaked around with these settings until i got it to what i wanted it to be and then i used crop and pad where i basically got rid of some of the things that i didn't want in the thing so when i did everything that i needed to it came up with this so it does look a bit messy at the moment but the thing is i wanted it at the top out of the way so if i moved it up here then that would have been out of the way which is the way i want it like i wouldn't have it like this i would always have it something like this now why would you want to do this why would you like to have a subscribe account on your video now people don't tend to have it on a video people usually have it for live streams that's what i've seen most people do so yeah that is why you would like to do that so uh, yeah, the other comment i got was from discontinued and it said what recorder do you use for gameplay so that was on my roblox video which i showed you how to do the roblox capture and then to and then as i said with with ets2 which was from the other person dream yt i used the uh, capture device but then i've also showed him how to do the game and window capture so hopefully this has helped you out if it did leave a like and if it helps some of you guys out that you when you've never used this program and you would like to maybe use it then go ahead and like the video i mean give youtube a go it is brilliant fun there is nothing to say that you can't do anything so give it a go and you never know it might just become your job someday it can so leave a like if you enjoyed it and if it did help you out subscribe as well if you are new let's see if we can get the magical 800 subscribers before my birthday you've only got a few days left guys so please share it with your friends share it with your family share it with anyone you think that would like my content to get to the magical 800 8 8 100 subscribers i mean we are on 778 as i am recording this video so hopefully we can get to that magical number before my birthday so please tell your friends or family to subscribe so i am done now thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then take care and peace out